Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Vocast. I'm your host, Drew. We're doing another reaction today. We're going to be covering Voice Play's cover of In the Hall of the Mountain King. This is a classical piece that has no lyrics in it whatsoever. So, <laughs> this is going to be good. Before I uh, send you over to the, the disclaimer that I have in all my videos, I just wanted to say um, I am blown away by the amount of support I've gotten from you guys starting off with this channel. On my first video as of 11.26, at, right at 6 o'clock, this video has 1,300 views. 1,300. <laughs> I'm just blown away, guys. Thank y'all. I started off with like 20 subscribers, but that's... Those... Before that, those guys were subscribing to a different, I mean, I had, I mean, they weren't subscribing for this content. I gained 70 subscribers over three videos in five days. <laughs> guys, thank you. Really. Thank you so much. Thank you. I, I, if I say a thank you a thousand times, it still wouldn't be enough. This is a... Thank you for all the likes, comments, subscriptions, the views, all of it. I'm just blown away by the positive response. And uh, without this, uh, without rambling on any further, let's get to the, uh, the disclaimer and the video. Full disclaimer, I am not a musical genius in any way, shape, or form. I'm simply sharing my musical insight and knowledge with you so that way we can get a better understanding of the music that we love. With that, with that said, Let's jump into the video. Make sure my stuff is ready to go. Um, while I'm loading my stuff up, just so you guys know, this is not a first time reaction for this one. Um, I have already seen this video and I've already heard it. It's been a few weeks, maybe a month or two before I heard it, or since the last time I heard it, but I'm still gonna give you my thoughts, my reaction to it. This is like my third or fourth time hearing it. And so I'll still be doing my normal breakdown and analysis, but this video won't be quite as long because I'm not going to be stopping and starting quite as much because I somewhat know what's coming in this. So now I've got my OBS recording and we're live, folks. Let's get into it. Um. <laughs> Um, pausing so early, but, um, just to start off, Jeff starts with a G1 in chest, which is, I mean, it's, it, it's G, it's Jeff, Jeff Casalucci. I mean, this is what he does. This is the reason why I call him G1 Jeff. His, his G1s are just insane. I mean, it, it, it's fast too. Um. Bottom. <laughs> Crazy. All these dooms that they're doing here are panned on each ear, so if you're not wearing headphones, you may miss out on this. It's uh, really cool. And for those of you that don't know or have not heard this song yet, this is a... Um, this song has no lyrics in it. And uh, In the Hall of the Mountain King is a classical piece and it has it has no sing, uh, any singing in it. So they're covering a song with their voices that has no words to give y'all a perspective of what's going on here. <laughs> and to give the, I'm gonna stop pausing, I promise, but to give, to give you some more perspective on this, not only are they just playing a a classical piece or singing a classical piece and doing an arrangement of it with their voices but they also characterized it i mean look at these costumes look at look at these characters they create they came up with these and then they just they turned it into a music video and 
gave it some character. I mean, the original classical piece in the Hall of the Mountain King, it can be applied to a ton of situations, like in movies and TVs and such, and TV shows and such. And the fact that they came up with something like this to really give the music a like a feel of its own, in addition to doing a cover of this with their human voices, it's phenomenal. <laughs> So cool little, um, cool little thing here for Ellie. Um, he's the one in the green here. He um, does this for to add character to his voice. So he adds a lot of distortion. Now this can really damage your vocal cords. So you have to be careful how much you do it. I'll show it to you again. You, it'll be pretty obvious, but I'll show. That, it's like I said, that can damage your voice if you do it too much, so you kind of have to use it sparingly. So, he doesn't really do it much in this anymore, I don't think. I have to listen through because I don't remember if he does it again. <laughs> Jeff starts at a B1 here. And the bass line he's doing here is part of the rhythm of the song. As you can tell, it's bum 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 bum. So it's following the same rhythm. And the best part about his bass in this song is that he is very punctual, very it's not staccato, go da 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 and it's not da 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 I mean it's not you know, it's not too legato, it's not too staccato, it's right on point, gives, it follows the feel of um, the rest of the vocalists in this, so. Now they're all back to unison here. And for those that don't know, unison means they're all on the same note within their respective octaves. And it could also mean that they're all on the same note together period, but they also could be all on the same note within their own octaves or their comfortable octaves. So whenever I say that um, within their comfortable octaves, what I mean is that they are singing notes that are more comfortable for them. So you've got, say, an F, for example, or an E, for example, I'm going to sing an E2. Oh, I, it, my pitch wavered a little bit, but you get what I'm saying, E2. Oh. And then you might have someone else singing this note one octave above. Same note, but one octave above, like an E3. Ah. And then you got someone else singing an E4. Ah. So that's what you what I that's what I what I mean when I say all of this is that unison is whenever you've got multiple singers singing the same note either within their respective octave or just the same note in general. So it'll it'll create an effect like this. Those are all the same note, but within different octaves, being one octave lower and one octave above, etc., etc. You get what I'm saying. <laughs> so you saw that they're all doing these notes or these parts in unison. Um, Jeff's doing a lower part. Elizabeth is doing the higher part, and I believe everyone else is doing the mid parts, like this third and fourth octaves, if I remember correctly. I love that part. Excuse me for scrubbing my eyes. Um, <laughs> uh, that Jeff does a really, really cool sounding B1 here. I mean, I, that was not a B1, but I was just doing that real quick to show you, like, the effect. So, like, 
it's almost like every other piece of this vocally cut out for the split seconds for him to do that B1. And I think that's one more piece of why it sounds so cool. <laughs> See, literally, it's like everyone else went to completely complete silence for him for a second there. And that, the fact that you got uh, Lane over here singing. <laughs> It's a good little, it's a good little comedic balance there. Yeah, I love this part. So. So. I got it. I gotta change the screen or I'm gonna say stop. I won't be able to stop laughing. So, uh, okay. So Jeff does a uh, F sharp one sub here. So this note, but one octave lower. So I found it. Um, he did that note here. I'll have to show you. <laughs> Right there. <laughs> that one. We all know Jeff is a solid bass by now. Um, he's perfect. He's perfect for this kind of stuff. I also didn't give credit to Ellie for his operatic technique here. I don't know much about opera, opera or operatic techniques, but this sounded really cool. It's a good little comedic piece, too, that he just took a sip of this uh, cauldron or whatever they're stewing up in it, and then he just goes to sing an opera. And I gotta change the screen again. Uh... It's good. This, I mean, this, <laughs> this piece is great because not only is it like voices covering a song without lyrics, you've got, you, it's an acapella and <laughs> they got characters and they made it funny. So all, we have all of this music, these harmonies are like, not necessarily harmonies here at this point. They're all doing the doom, doom, dooms. And he does the operatic thing here, and then Lane goes, <laughs> and mine wasn't exactly right, but his is way funnier, and it, it belongs in the piece, and uh, it's really cool. <laughs> it makes him seem, it makes his character in this musical, is this music video seem uh, insane, which is a funny little touch. <laughs> Sorry, uh, <laughs> Caesar's face here. <laughs> I mean, you can tell how 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 far into the characters they are getting with this because you can see. I mean, look at the look at Lane's face. He did the ha ha ha, and then you've got the um, the parts where they're literally going into character voices to make this feel. So, I mean, you can tell they're into it, but it's just, they're making it, they're selling it very well. You got, la la la. I mean, it's very, um, I don't know what kind of, I don't know how you would describe that tone, but it's very character -y, if you know what I mean. <laughs> so they, um, they did the like the soup thing. She uh, Elizabeth in this tried a sip, and now she's doing opera too. <laughs> That's kind of cool. She's got a she's got a good voice. She was good for this. I don't think I noticed this before, but um, Caesar and Ellie did something kind of cool with their their singing parts here. It almost sounds like they're they're saying ah or something. <laughs> So let me, let me try to find it again. <laughs> you see, did y'all 
y'all hear that? Also, pay close attention to these ha's in the background. Not Elizabeth's, but um, the ones that the other singers are doing. Those are kind of the backbone of this little section here. <laughs> it looks like Lane's on something like a illegal substance of some sort. <laughs> Cool. Jeff um, pulls out of the depths for this and he goes up to a mm, he goes to a F sharp two. Ooh. No, um F, no that's a uh ooh. yeah. Yeah. Okay, yeah, that's a uh, F sharp two. He's doing that for this one here. <laughs> No, he was doing a three there. I'm sorry. Uh, so I'll back up. <laughs> so he goes from the th the F sharp three to the F sharp two. Does a straight drop down one octave. So it sounds it sounds pretty cool here. <laughs> His uh, bass part here, pretty cool. <laughs> these dooms in this section here are nuts. They're pan too, but these are nuts. The uh, these are so cool. They are articulate and they are with purpose. You just listen to this. <laughs> I'm talking about the dooms and then Jeff, I forgot about Jeff's E2 or E1 sub here. So he also, he starts off with, he goes to a G1 chest here. Then he slot or he does a couple different notes, but he, after he goes from the G1, he goes to a sub. I'm gonna see what note he starts off with to go to the E1. G1 chest. I think that's an F sharp G flat. Then he goes to a B. B? No. No, 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 no. He goes to a. I, I don't know. Guys, I don't know. If you guys can specify that in the comments, let me know. But then he goes to the E1 sub. Crazy, <laughs> crazy stuff. That's cool. <laughs> These crazy subs here. He, I mean, Jeff's doing the subs, and that's already cool enough. But listen to how, what he does with these here, and I'll point them out to you. to he makes a pretty significant jump here I'm gonna try and find out the note he jumped to from that e1 sub I think he just went up to an e2. One more time on this, I promise, and we'll move on. Um, <laughs> doing this with subs and in this lower range, it's 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 hard and it's cool. <laughs> this is a good part here. <laughs> to snort it on camera. 
Okay. We're going back. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, so, um, at this point, it's a cool little harmonic piece going on here, and Elizabeth is doing a nice little high note here to top it off. It's really nice. <laughs> Jeff did a B1 here, and what's really cool <laughs> about this piece is that Lane's acting intoxicated off of this little stew that they've been working on after trying it. But what's really cool is that he's taking this characterized, like, um, inebriated voice, and he's, <laughs> he's applying it musically too. So these notes, they may sound a touch wonky, but that's intentional because they, he wanted it to sound funny in addition to like actually sounding like notes that belong within the 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 song and the context of, of the key that they're singing in so just look listen to how i mean it's going to sound silly but listen to um like the tone and the the note quality and just listen listen very closely <laughs> They sound very silly, very, and he sounds very inebriated, but it's, it's, the notes are still within the key, or I mean, they don't sound bad within the key, they're not out of place, and it's there to create that, that comedic piece within the music video, so, and, it, but it still keeps its musical, like, it's very musical, feel to it, I guess you could say. That's kind of cool. <laughs> Jeff and his subs, man. For the... I, I don't draw enough attention to subs, to subharmonics. So, listen to this over again. So he does um, a, in, he does the descending riff in the second octave, and then he does it in the first octave with subs, but the second octave he does it in full chest. Right here that I'm, get, I'm getting ready to unpause it, and you'll see right here. Da, da, da. My pitches aren't right, but you see what I'm talking about. And then right here, as I'm about to unpause, he's also getting ready to do the same thing, but one octave lower with subharmonics. So he's going from... So they're going from a E to a C sharp D flat, but they descend cr chromatically. Uh, chromatically, for those that don't know, if you're descend like if you're ascending or descending chromatically, it means you're going one half step at a time. So one half note, like one half step of a note at a time. <laughs> Caesar does a really funny slap there to inebriated Lane. <laughs> Not the right pitches, but that is insane. And for those that don't know this piece, this is uh, right around this point in the music is where the piece starts to pick up. So you'll hear this same rhythm over and over and over and over and over again in this song. But the change is that it starts to pick up pace. It starts to speed up and, and build an intensity very, very quickly. So right here, you start to notice musical, <laughs> musical contrast again. Uh, in this arrangement of this classical piece they're starting to pick up the intensity with this and they're keeping throughout the piece it's not been boring at all because they've they've done a really good job of making each section different but right here you start hearing the foot stomps the boom booms 
And then that's starting to show that, okay, this piece is getting, a, is starting to ramp up. And you can notice the tempo change here. As I, I say that as uh, Ellie does the, um, <laughs> gets the, you know, the, the, <laughs> the smoke out the ears. <laughs> and he does the, he does a little bit of distortion or uh, vocal distortion again here too. <laughs> I don't know if anyone noticed with the, uh, the theatrical part of this, but if you look very, very closely on the original video, you might not be able to see it on this reaction, but on the original video, you can see um, Caesar's hand when as he lifts it. So you can actually, you don't see the red part, you actually see his like, uh, a little bit of his form. <laughs> Boom, right there, right there. <laughs> Does that not sound like the the troll song? Like the <laughs> all these la da 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 da's, they're being they're coming in at different times, also adding to the intensity, showing that it, this truly is starting to speed up, ramp up, feel like. Oh crap, we're moving faster, you know. <laughs> I almost forgot about this section, so it gets it gets dubstepy here. And as a as I'm saying that, I didn't even acknowledge Jeb's um, F sharp G flat one sub here. <laughs> For those of you that don't know this piece, this section is nuts. This is nuts. They turn, they take a classical piece that's already ramping up in intensity, and they just, they just put their own spin on it and make it dubstepy. <laughs> and need I remind you, this is all a cappella. This is all with just the music, just the human voice. <laughs> if you haven't laughed at this video at some point in watching it, then I question your sense of humor. I mean... Also, there is a lot of subwoofer action coming from Jeff here. He's slamming some uh, subharmonics and not that many, I don't know if anybody really gives him a, much credit for this part in this video because he's just, Whoa. and he's just sitting here doing this over and over and over again and over and over and over again for several seconds at a time. And it takes, it. You can't just sit there and do a sub with a lot of breath. You have to take a breath eventually because a sub, for me at least, doing a sub harmonic takes a little bit more breath than doing a regular note. Simply, maybe I'm wrong, but it feels like I'm doing, taking a little bit more breath in whenever I'm doing a sub harmonic. But just listen to how smooth this har sub harmonic is and how long he does it. It's crazy that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot about Elizabeth's crazy high note here. Jeff is doing some really cool bouncing around with these um, subs, so that's really cool. Elizabeth does also some cool operatic one well, operatic related stuff and does she has some of that um vibrato i guess i, I guess you could say with her scene yeah. 
it's Caesar is next to none with his character kind of things in addition to the rest of them. <laughs> cool harmonic piece there. Listen back to that in the original video. <laughs> That that's that's high. Not I mean that's just that's just high. Hold on. I don't I don't know. before I move on to the next segment real quick. One more time. I think I've got it. She goes from a D6 to a C sharp D flat 6. That is high. I mean, they, they go through a bunch of musical genres in this classical piece to give it that much more, to make it that much more fun to listen to, especially, and like, it makes it even easier to listen to across all kinds of audiences in the music world. It's got several genres. You, now you're kind of, like, you went from dubstep to, like, a, a little bit of a classical feel at the beginning. You've got, like, a jazzy kind of bluesy feel to this right here it's and in my understanding is lane arranged for this so this is nuts it's so smooth, guys. This is just, this is crazy. <laughs> Seth, or er, Seth. Jeff does another F sharp, G flat, one sub there. And now this part starts where ramping up a lot. <laughs> <laughs> And this part that Jeff just did, as he's speeding up, and it's it's not easy to just go bounce back and forth between these lower octave notes. Jeff has so much control in his chest range. And what Elizabeth is doing here is not easy either. Holy freaking crap. That is so difficult, or at least I would think it would be. It's just your your riff. I mean, you're riffing all the way to the top. You're riffing up in a high range, and you're speeding up while you're doing it. And and you're you're pinpoint accurate at the same time with these notes. <laughs> <laughs> I did not I've, I didn't even know they had this little extra part here um, at the beginning I said that I wasn't going to be going too long this is going to be the longest video I've made so far <laughs> uh, so but yeah this is cool listen to this last part Okay, this is cool stuff, guys. Guys, this was incredible. I know, I'm sorry this is not a first-time reaction, but I was asked to cover this by several, and... I wish I could do a first response or first time reaction to it, but I cannot, so I can't really, you know, 
I can't, it would be right for me to fake a, re a reaction. So I just went ahead and gave y'all the uh, disclaimer that this wasn't the first time, but I still wanted to give a musical analysis. And uh, yeah, thanks for tuning in guys. This has been Trigger on the Vocast. I love you guys. I'll see you in the next one.